Hello everyone. We're going to continue with making the video for our Spot the Difference game. We'll need to have a portrait and a landscape Photoshop file with three changes and the background layer. And if you make those visible, then when we import them, you'll see them right away. So let's go over to Premiere and create a new project. I'm going to browse to my Spot the Difference folder. should be on the H drive. Remember that if you highlight and copy the name of the folder, then when you go to the name of the project, you can paste that in there. I'm going to go ahead and type today's date for Spot the Difference. Make sure that you go to the AVCHD 720p 30 frames per second format, which is a 1280 by 720 high definition format. We can start off if we're going to do our portrait first. We'll call it Portrait 1 for our first sequence. You may get some errors with the H drive, but we'll make sure and save with new names each time. So we've got our first sequence called Portrait 1, and now we need to import our Portrait Spot the Difference Photoshop file. When you do this, you're going to have a dialog box that comes up and you will not want to merge all the layers together. The whole idea is to have these as individual layers. And we can choose which layers we wish to import, which in this case, because these were visible and the original was not, we will not be importing the original layer. You'll get a folder here that you can open up and you'll have your changes and your background layer. So we're going to go and take the background and drag it to the video one line. We're going to make this a 15 second game, so I'm moving my current time indicator to 15 seconds and then zooming in some. And I'm going to extend the length of this image to 15 seconds. So now I have a very basic 15 second video with the two side by side pictures. I'm going to take change 1 and put it on my video 2 track and extend its time. I'm going to take the change 2 and also stack it on top and then change 3. Now they should fit perfectly over the background so nobody's going to notice them until we make them glow. We're going to use the Alpha Glow effect for that. So I'm going to go forward in time, giving my folks enough time to see and spot the differences. It depends on how difficult you've made your game. If we say we have three things that we want to show and we're going to give a few seconds for each one, then maybe we should give them about eight seconds to try and spot the differences. Then I'm going to go to my effects and look for Alpha Glow. You can just type GLO into the search box and there under Video Effects Stylize you're going to see Alpha Glow. I'm going to drag the effect to my Change 1 and you will immediately see that first change glow a bright white. We're going to keyframe this effect. I'm going to go over here to my Effect Controls and there's the Alpha Glow. So what we're going to do is reduce the glow to zero because we don't want it showing until the eight second mark. We're going to set a keyframe and then go forward a couple more seconds. Maybe one second. We're going to increase the glow until it glows nice and bright. Maybe not too bright. Right about there looks good. I'm also going to change the color to something besides white, so that each of my three changes can glow a different color. Then I'm going to go forward a little bit more, and then reduce the glow to some standard number. In this case, we'll make them all 15. Now as soon as this change 1 is done glowing, without moving the current time indicator, I'm going to go to change 2. Add the alpha glow, and bring the glow down to zero. Then I set my keyframe, go forward a little bit, and increase the glow. 
Now it's in the blue water up there, so let me change my start color to something that will be very noticeable. How about red? Then I'm going to go forward a little bit more and bring the glow back to 15. Then I'm going to go to my third change without moving the time indicator, add my third alpha glow, reduce it to zero, and set the keyframe. I'm going to fo go forward a little bit, increase the glow, and choose another color. How about yellow this time? Then I'm going to go forward just a little bit more and have it go back to 15. So let me increase my video size and let's watch this. So we're going to have eight seconds to spot the differences. That may not be enough time. And then one by one, they're going to glow, glow, and glow. Let's make our landscape. We're going to make a new sequence, same settings. Unfortunately, I could not see. I'm going to scroll back to my project and change this. Let me move it out of there. Change it to landscape one. Now I'm going to take my new Photoshop file, landscape. Don't want to merge the layers. And then begin placing these. So this time, I'm going to give them a little more time. So I'm going to make this a 20 second game. Extend the background. And begin putting my changes. Change 1. Change 2 and change three. I'm going to go to 12 seconds, more or less. Go to my effects and add the alpha glow to my change one. Reduce it to zero. Keyframe, forward, increase the glow, forward, and reduce to 15. Perhaps I should change the color on this one as well. Let's do that without moving our current time indicator, dragging the alpha glow effect, selecting change two, reduce to zero, keyframe, go forward, increase the glow, go forward, reduce to 15 change the color to red. Change 3, alpha glow, reduce to 0, keyframe, go forward in time, looks like I've run out of space, increase the glow, let's change the color again, how about green, and then Reduce it to 15. So I'll go to the 20 second mark and watch those three things glow one at a time. One, two, and three.